have to troubleshoot it afterwards. So as you can see, this is the default menu of the thing. And we don't want that. We don't want that. So let's mark off first. Uh, we did the menu. Create a character creation. In a way, we altered text box and menu appearance. I guess that's where the menu was. Uh, so we can like put that like x divided by two or some shit like that, if you want. All right, so now let's work on. Oh no no no! Yeah, so we need to do menu. That's what the menu stands for here. That's what the menu stands for here. So the base script for menu. I'm so lucky to find this guy. This guy did an awesome job. And sorry, this is not the main menu. This is the Kirion, this is the actual menu. So yeah, this is what it does. And what I did is just basically changed, just changed the look of it. That's all I did. There's nothing too crazy you need to do to alter it to what I showed you in the beginning. Uh, let me check if there's any questions so far. Okay. Okay, so Kirion engine. Best, en uh, best menu I've found. It looks amazing, as you can see. So download all these. Maybe I should do it just to show you. Because uh, I did some crap with it that... Alright, I'll do it. Just to show you guys. If I mess up though, sorry, I'm probably going to have to... I'm probably going to miss it the first time I do it, so... All right, you have to put these in order. Um, I think that that's this is where I went. Error handler first. So let's go in here. Tale of Morrow. Yes, this is the correct file. So let's go into scripts. Insert. Insert. We're gonna make another subsection. This is gonna be menu. Oops! 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 I keep pressing enter always. Insert, and I think we're going to need six. So insert, uh, actually, oh cool, you can do this. You can press insert on your keyboard, which is nifty. I didn't know that. It saves time. All right, so paste that in here. That's all you basically do. That's all you do. It takes a while to select it, which is a pain in the ass, but I mean, they did the majority of the work, so you can't really complain at all. <laughs> Because someone did this, and Ruby is beyond me. I know a bit of C++, and I know a bit of Java. That was ages ago, back when I actually wanted to become a computer scientist. I don't anymore. If you didn't know. <laughs> and if you care at all. <laughs> yeah, back then I would probably actually make sure I know what all these line codes mean. But now I just don't care. I don't have enough time to learn all this. And... I, if 90% of you probably don't either. So if you're looking an in-depth scripting tutorial, you won't find it on this channel. Sorry about that. You will not find it. Uh, I don't know why it's seven. Did I copy and paste one twice? I think I did. I think I did. Let's scroll up, item, status, main menu, core, I think I have two cores, set no, hm. then I need one more, and one more, I might not actually, I don't know. So, yeah, it's been a while since I actually did this part, but I, I still remember it kind of well. So just copy and paste this here. Now let's rename this error handler. Um, damn, I hate how it jumps to the end all the time. Settings. Core. Oops. Oops. Main menu. Just to make it easier for us to get to. Uh, 
And basically the only thing you want to um, change, I think, is the settings. No, 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 that's not true. I played around with different stuff because what it actually did was it added particles which flow around and it just made it look way too glossy and girly. So I changed that. Okay, so yeah, what you want to do is, oh, I hope I get this right, uh, search for particles, and you want to delete all this particle crap, if you don't want particles, obviously. Actually, let me show you what it did. Apply, hopefully it works now. I think it should work, though. Oh, see, this is the bad part. Maybe I should have actually waited. Oh, yeah, it changes the resolution, too, but we can change that really quick. And it changes that for some reason. What the fuck? Oh, because it overrides it. Okay, no, sorry. It's not an actual override. It's an overlap of that main menu stuff. So we're, we're going to fix all of this. Don't worry. Actually, that looks cool. Gives more room, but I don't want it. Maybe I'll change it later. Oh! Derp. Derp a derp. Um. You've got to be kidding me. Gonna to have to go back in here. I think we have to go into system. And we need this too. And all this is on the site. Be able to find links to all these pictures or create them your own. Just make sure it's the right size for your window. So all you do in Photoshop is new and set this to 640 by 360. That's all you're doing, and you do crazy shit with it. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm copying and pasting. Got distracted. And I think that's all you need, because you don't actually need particles. Oh, you do, because I wanted to show you that. Oh, do you really want me to show you that? It's shown here. I really don't want to mess around and copy pictures. So I'll show you it here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, stupid. Ah. Anyhow, here on engine. It does these basically sparkles here, which float around, which is kind of cool if you want it. Girly stuff. I don't. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't want it. That's why I'm going to delete all this particle shit. So set up particles. Delete that. Find the next particle crap. Delete that. So basically, delete everything that has reference to particles. I think you need to delete this. Yeah. Find next. Create and animate particles. Shit. Yep, delete that. And then these two lines in the end, which I forgot. Three lines. Just these three lines, though. Don't do all of that. Apply. And I think you might need to change it somewhere else. So just check all these files. I think that's it. That's it. But just to make sure, let's check it. Find next. Oh yeah, it's right below here. Menu particles delay. Delete all this crap. We don't want it. Okay. Uh, there's nothing in there. Handler status. Nope. 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 Okay, we're good. All right. So now it should work. 
hopefully. I did this the first time too. I forgot an end. I deleted an end accidentally here when I was deleting that. I don't know how I managed to do it twice in a row. But same thing happened to me on the other thing. Yeah, make sure you only delete the part that you need, obviously. And I still forgot to change the resolution, but we can change that here in a second. Ah, resolution, resolution. Remember to change the resolution. <laughs> Uh, bum, 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 perfecto, that will be fixed once I set the resolution right, um, so it's not perfect technically, but you know, main menu, let's see, I have to find it, uh, core, I think it's in core, Yeah, you have to dig around these things. Oh, it's right here. Should work now. Okay, then delete this part, <laughs> I guess. Whatever it tells you, that's why you want to check after you delete stuff. It's to make sure that it, everything is right. It's going to keep telling you that everything is wrong. Just go to that line, delete it if you know if you know for sure you don't need it. Um, so yeah, just follow this if you want to. Yeah, see, so now it works. Now it works. Just let, let's make sure that the other screen was aligned. I kind of don't like how that overlaps, but... Whatever. Yay! And we can change this later. It doesn't matter what color it is now. So, yeah, that's it. That's that's all you need to do. But what I did was I changed it in order to change what it says at the top. So when you hover over, say, uh, people or whatever, it's gonna say whatever it says here. And this is all you really need to edit, this part here. To add more options, that's all you need to edit. Uh, I also changed the fonts a bit. So let me do that. Let me copy and paste. No, I won't copy and paste. I will show you how to do it. I will only copy and paste the part which is not very... So settings, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I delete, I didn't delete that here for some reason. I deleted it somewhere else because it's it it repeats over and over again. So what I actually did was I changed the font to this instead of this. This is all optional, obviously. So if, this is what this is just what I do. Just change the font of all of this to this. You can change um, colors, but I don't know why you would. I guess you could. Yeah, you could definitely change the colors if you wanted to. I might, but not now. And then this, I'm just going to copy and paste what I have another thing, because that's basically all it is for these parts. Anyway, I'll tell you how to do the quests and characters and shit like that later. Actually, you need character, obviously. I don't have uh, the other part in there. That's interesting. Okay. So, yeah, so what I basically did was just change what it says in the menu a bit. And you can actually change the pictures that come with it by doing these, changing this ID here. And this ID corresponds to how, how to know this ID, because I had to figure it out. You could just go into your items, and then you go into this menu, this is where it corresponds to. And then you press hat, and you see the index at the bottom, 165. So that's what you input into that. I don't know why I... Okay. I should have pressed cancel, actually. But whatever. Anyhow, so that's the basic menu. That's all it is. Now, 
we need to do the crafting system and the journal system. So let's just put that into core, I guess. So we need crafting, and it needs to go above above this menu stuff because it won't work. It won't work for the menu. It won't be selectable in the menu if you do it below, or or it will give you errors. This took me a while to figure out. And journal it has to be above. It has to be above. All right. So for crafting, we go here. Crafting this one. Um, what I did was I downloaded the demo because from all of this crap you can't really understand how to put it together. And I didn't want to figure out through the code, obviously. So what I did was I made a demo. Oh, there's a demo. Shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, that's right, because it's not one script. Crafting is actually several scripts. Grips. So let's insert. I think journal is a, several scripts as well. So crafting. We're gonna change this to a subsection system. Okay. Just to make it look nice, you know. All this stuff can get a bit overwhelming, and I think there is five in here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not too sure. Probably six actually. And so yeah, what I did was I downloaded the demo. Let's open that up. Open well. Let's open a separate window. File, open project, and it was the crafting demo. Yeah, and uh, I just copied and pasted the script from here. That's all I did. So copy and paste the scripts from here. Uh, but I don't remember if I changed anything. I don't think I changed anything yet. But we will have to change stuff for recipes eventually. But yeah, keep them as it is. But just to make sure, I'm going to copy and paste it from here. From this one. Just to make sure. Because I don't want to waste time on, on stream. Finding what I missed. But if it doesn't work for you, just message me and I we will I will try to help you. But yeah, I'm really happy how this looks. It's just amazing how it looks, in my opinion. Like there's no way that would look anything like this if I didn't use these scripts. So props go to whoever did these. Uh don't know who made this, but well, you can I can find out. This guy's name is Venka, based off cooking script. Amazing. Guy, you're awesome. And this menu thing, Hirion, you're awesome too. Um, pom, pom, pom. Yeah, just delete all of this now. Okay, so now let's. I'm just going to add the journal so that. It's there, but I will go over how to actually implement this into the menu itself. Um, uh, where is it? It's here. No, it's not here. It's here. Uh, journal. Journal one. I didn't show you the link for that one. Journal. Do I even have that? Quest journal. Modern algebra. He is pretty famous apparently and a male <laughs> anyhow a uh, great great thing and looks amazing with the menu because all of this is going to change obviously because that's the whole point of me working around that script was so you could go here and you download the script uh, actually yeah just download the script
copy and paste it. I haven't changed anything in it also. I don't think. So just copy and paste. I mean, yeah, copy and paste it. And then you should be good. Uh, where is my journal? Interesting. It's not here. Oh, here it is. It was under quests. And this actually might might change your resolution as well. It, yeah, some of these might change your resolution. Just go in and find the change the resolution code. And that's all you need to do. And delete it. That's all you need to do. Nothing, nothing scary here. So it won't run now because we don't have the pictures for some of these. Um, uh, I can't remember where it was. I think it was in uh, testing range. Oops, not system. Graphics. Okay, it's not here. I think it's in pictures. Yeah. You don't need this book, but for now, let's put in, you need these three and I think you just need these two. Hopefully that's all you need. And then uh, I will teach you how to use these later because we're not going to use them now. But I want it to be there so that the menu stuff works. Speaking of which, we need to mod the actual menu. So we have journal. So as I said, you need to mod you need to enter your selections here. So make two lines. For all I care, you can copy and paste this into here and mod it from that. That's basically all you do. So let's me let me go in here. And that's not it. And this and this part is why um these codes have to be above the menu because it processes them processes them before so okay all right so all you do is type the name uh, i guess you can do anything you want really i think i even misspelled this but anyway no i don't think i did anyhow recipes yeah i did wow that is terrible. I'm sorry. I would just put it in lowercase. I'm not sure how that works. Anyhow. But make sure... So you copy and paste it. The first one is for the name that appears in the menu. The second one is description that pops up on the top. The This number is the icon, which I went over. Uh... The first one is enabled, which should be true. I don't know why you would want to disable it, but just for that. Anyhow, uh, this one I'm not sure. I would recommend uh, set it to false. <coughs> and this, and then this actually calls the the script from above. So just copy and paste, uh, type in what you see here: scene underscore quest and scene underscore receipt uh, recipes. Test. And we should be caught up. Welcome to Tail Morrows. Choose your class, mail, input name. Oh, we're so beautiful. Okay, so let's actually let me show you that all this works. So let's select four.
Let's select six. And I know it overlaps here. We can fix that too here in a second. And then please work. Yes, it works. So as you can see, our name pops up at the top right here, A. <laughs> and we don't have a class because I deleted all those, but it would pop here and it shows a picture, which is awesome. And then you can go into recipes. It shows you all this stuff. Oh, so good. It looks so good. And a journal, quests. Ah, oh, I love the system. I just love the look of it. So what I need to change now is I have a bit of time, so let me do this. Is I need to file, open. I need to change that. Just the graphics of it, basically. No, where is it? Here it is. So that needs to stretch all the way down. Transform. Needs to stretch all the way down to here. Actually, I was considering uh, finding the script to switch over the map part here so that it's more over here. I'm just stretching this down here so that it looks kind of better. Let me see if I can do that before I start modding. So let me just, just for clarity, I wanted to move this part over here. Starting sequence. Um, let me see if I can find that code. Finding code. Goodness gracious. I think it would be under settings, wouldn't it? HP, XP, menu background, menu transition, menu actors, stats, states, equip, fame, router, HP. I hope I can find this, please. Okay, I think this is the part. Draw icon. Alright, now here is where I have no fucking clue what it... So, I guess we can... Just okay. I think this is controls these two lines control the positioning, just like the gold here. I think it's these two numbers. No. So icon zero, position, position. Let's change this to something like 50. Let's just see what this does. That's how I do shit. You just have to. Now the bad part about this is that I have to go into all this crap. And there's a way to bypass it. Actually. Yeah, let's actually do that. Let's actually bypass this. Because we can, we can set the starting position here. 
player. Yeah, that's all we have to do, really. I think, unless it gives me errors. And it should bypass it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it moved that over. But I think it moved everything over. Or not. Okay, so that was that was that. So we need to multiply it by one and a half or two and a half the width on that. So I think one twenty five should do. And once again, I'm going to have to play with numbers here. I'm going to change this to 151. Yay! Awesome! We can even scoot it over a bit more, actually. Let's do it by another 50. So let's do this. No, 50? Let's do 25. So 76. And this one, 50. Okay, so now it's right under the menu. So right here. So now we can use that as a guideline. Oh, well, this is different. So let's this is how I do it. Anyhow, I copy the screen and then I paste it into here. And then I drag this over. And then I set the transparency to 10% and I can delete this now all right so you, I, I just want to align this so that there's equal margin so it looks nice and then um, I want to extend this to be here basically. Whoops. That's a problem. Thirty percent. Change it back to thirty. Fill this. Apple Z. I'm not sure what the problem is here. Whoops. I don't think this actually matters that much because I'm going to do something with it anyway. Let me show this. Yeah, I'm going to do something with it, which is actually...
this. Delete that, deselect. Okay, I think that looks better, or nice at least. So we're gonna have to, what was it, 30%? Okay. And I'm not sure why that is crooked like that. It's not noticeable though, so we're gonna live with it. Let's update this picture in our folder. PNG. Is it in system? Yeah. I don't know why the hell it does that. <sighs> Photoshop. Yes. Okay. Now let's see how it looks. Hopefully it looks mighty fine. Uh, I'm probably going to have to restart. And test. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yep, that looks great. And I think this is where I'm going to end. As I promised, if you guys have any questions. Yeah, crazy scripts, man. It's ridiculous. If you guys have any questions, please say, uh, ask me now. Tomorrow, if I do do it tomorrow, I'm probably going to start. Tomorrow I do have something to do, so I'll, I'll probably not tomorrow. But Thursday, definitely, I will be doing it. The next part, where we're going to actually start uh, designing the levels, I think. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm probably not going to put this part on YouTube anyhow. And uh, I'm just going to shut off the stream now then, because uh, all it is is questions. So I'll answer them in chat.